Hi, thanks for taking the time to look at ChemCal for the MMI software. ChemCal contains three basic chemistry calculators that are ideally suited for anybody studying the life sciences at school, college or university. So if you're a chemistry student, biology student, physics student, whatever, if you need to do a basic chemistry calculation, ChemCal can help you. The calculator has three calculators built in, a molarity or mass calculator, a percentage calculator and a dilutions calculator. And I'll now quickly show you how to use all three calculators. So in the mass molarity calculator, let's say we want to make up 200 ml of 100 millimolar sodium chloride solution. What do we need to do? Well, if you touch on any of the numbers in the upper part, they will turn green. When they turn green, this means you can edit them. So I touch the one near molecular weight, I then enter the molecular weight, 58.44. I want to make up 100 millimolar. Now I know that that's 0.1 molar, so I could put in 0.1 molar here. Alternatively, I could just change the units. So I want to move from molar down to millimolar. This means I have to press this arrow button because I want to go down from molar to millimolar. Now pressing concentration, changes the units from molar to millimolar. I can then put in 100. I need 200 mils and yet we've selected liters here. So again, just by pressing on the volume button because the arrow is pointing down, I can change to mils and I can put in 200 mils and the calculator to tells me that I need 1.1688 grams dissolved in 200 mils of water it will give me 100 millimolar sodium chloride solution. Now let's say I actually wanted to make up 125 millimolar, I just select the concentration again and put in 125 and it now recalculates the grams that I need. Or even let's say I wanted to go to micromolar um, range. So again with the button for concentration, just pressing on it drops it down to micromolar which instantly tells us that 125 millimolar is 125,000 micromolar. Just clear that number, put in 125, and we've got our answer down the bottom here in grams. Or if I wanted 200, put in 200. Now you may have noticed that when I was putting in those values, that at one point the mass went red. So if I just show you that again, if I put in 20 here, you can see I need 2.34 E minus 4 grams. And what that means is I need 2.34 times 10 to the minus 4 grams. Alternatively, just by pressing the mass button, it tells me I need 0.23376 mix. So continuing to put in my 200 micro molar, put in the extra zero, it now tells me I need 2.3376 milligrams. Or if I want to look at it in grams by pressing the arrow up, mass, that's 0 0.00233 grams. The percentage calculator works in a similar way. Again, you just select the number you wish to add. So let's say I want to make a 5% solution. I want to make up 200 mils of it. So I need to go down the volume to mils, put in 200, and there I have the answer. I need 10 grams of that compound into 200 mils. The calculator can also do volume calculations. Dilutions works in the same way uh, with one little twist. You lock on the concentration or you lock on the volume. So this lock V button here, if I press it, you'll notice that the volume goes yellow. That means I'm now locked on to volume. So if I change concentrations, the volume stay the same. It's the concentrations that will alter. If I'm locked onto concentration, changing the concentration or changing the volume will be calculated in a specific way. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want to make up a solution here that's final concentration of 50 micromolar and I've got 100 millimolar stock. So I put in the amount that I need or the concentration of the stock. So I want here millimolar. So again, press the arrow buttons and press the concentration button. Now the difference here to the other calculator is pressing the concentration button only changes the concentration, the units, for the currently selected green number. So it only changes it for conk1 in this case. So I put in 100. I've got 2 mils of this, so I want to work out how much I need to dilute it. So I need to change this to mils. So go down to mils, put in 2. 
The concentration I need is 50 micromolar. So I need to go down to 50 micromolar, put in 50, and it's telling me that I need to take that two mils and dilute it, make it up to four liters, and that will give me a 50 micromolar solution. Alternatively, if I was working with fixed volumes, I could lock onto the volumes and change those and you would see the concentration uh, change and not the volume. So for example, let's say I now lock onto volumes. I only want a final volume of two liters used. That will give me a concentration of 100 micromolar as opposed to the 50. Whereas locking on to concentration by changing the value here, what I will get is a change in the actual volume and not the concentration. Finally, the calculator comes with a help section, which explains how all the calculations are carried out, giving you the equations, and also telling you how the dilution calculations are worked out. Again, there are some worked examples in here for you to have a look at. Percentage calculations, are explained the dilution calculations are explained as well there's also a section on the different units and also the SI units so I'd like to thank you for your time in listening to this demonstration of ChemCal from MI software and it's available now for download on the iTunes App Store